Good evening everyone, it's Ben from Be Nice Solutions. On my next video blog, explaining why you need to be aware of buying cheap computers online. This one here is supposed to be a gaming computer, which it is not. It's a very, very cheaply made uh, desktop computer using old parts. On the website, when you look at it, it says it's a cheap gaming machine and as branded as new and it's not new because if you look here and i move the video in closer it's 1155 board with an intel i7 second generation it's a good processor but it's a very old processor it's nearly 10 years old and the board is i've never even heard of this make and it's a very cheap and nasty low profile board which is really designed for a like a, um, a small computer, like a little box computer, not really designed for a gaming board. It's actually a very budgety board. It's not even got a brand. This is how bad this board is. Um, and it also comes with a very budgety, yeah, it's called um, Vino Sculp. Never even heard of the company. Um, it's got a normal conventional um mechanical hard drive, a couple of fans on the side. The case is not too bad, but it is quite tacky and built quite tacky as well. As you can see, if I bring show the side case here, this is the, the side. It looks like it's had drilled out holes. This fits on the side here. It looks like it's, had, it's been drilled with a drill to um, on, on each hole. I'm not sure the other hole there. It looks like it's just been drilled. It's just cheap plastic to put on the side. So I'm not very impressed with that either. And the next one to show you is this. This is the RAM that's in the machine. This is DVR3 RAM. So it shows you this computer's not new. And the RAM is unbranded. It's this VinoScorp RAM. And it's, I don't know what make of RAM. It's not made by them, but it's not properly good quality RAM. It's very cheap RAM. And um, I don't know who makes this RAM. It doesn't even say. But it's very old DDR3 RAM, so it shows that the computer's not new. If it was proper RAM, this is proper DDR3 RAM, and it comes with the brand on it. And this one's made by Hymax, and you can tell it's proper DDR3 RAM. And the quality is a lot more better than that uh, Vino RAM. If you look around the side of the machine, you can tell it's not a proper gaming case when you look around on it. It's um, quite plasticky, quite poorly made. And um, I haven't even got a side fan here, which it should have it's gaming. And you can tell it's, it's quite an old style ball because it's only got a VGA port. It hasn't got a, it's got a HDMI port. It's got a couple of USB 3s, but it's only, it hasn't got many, many ports on the side. And, just an average sound card on it. The machine, if you look around the front, yes, it's, it's okay. It's not the best case in the world. It's got a couple of fans that make it look nice. These fans glow up in the dark, but in all honesty, it's not the best computer in the world. I just, wanted, just wanted to show you it really because this computer my customer paid 192 pounds for. Is it worth 192 pounds? Not really. And the most it's used in the second hand pro, second hand processor is 1155 near a machine like this i would actually build it proper components using um gigabyte because we're a gigabyte um reseller as well as kingston as a ram side and using intel 11th generation processors not second generation processors like this machine's got and the case would be a lot more bigger i even have a graphics card this is one thing this machine hasn't even got a graphics card. It's got onboard Intel graphics, which is not gaming at all. This is just a poor, poor machine. 
Um, I can't believe that companies like this get away with selling rubbish like this because this is what it is it's just rubbish i would not ever sell anything to my customers like this this is not good it's not good for like people being told it is a gaming machine when it's not and i'm also selling that it's new and it's not new so that's what annoys me a bit these people getting away with it selling it online saying it's a new computer and it's not new at all. And then you try and get hold of these people who make computers like this, you never get hold of them. And that's one thing if you buy from a legit company like BLIT Solutions, you get a warranty. And um, we've actually used proper parts and then the parts are interchangeable. This thing, well, you to make this machine work properly, I would have to rip the board out, put a better board in there, put a newer processor, DDR4 RAM, and probably replace the power supply as well, because I'm not too sure that power supply is any good. So, basically, it's like a whole new machine the customer will need, because this machine is not worth the money they paid for it, unfortunately. And I feel sorry for people. Um, being con, I've been told that it's a gaming machine, and it's not. So yeah, it's just a video today, I just wanted to show you what to look out for. Just to make sure that when you're buying machines online, just to be careful what you're buying, check it. Make sure you check the person's feedback and everything. And make sure you check what sort of spec it is as well. I mean, if they're saying it's a, a gaming machine, then check what sort of processor, ask the seller what processor it is. Ask them what memory it's got in it and ask them what make it is as well. Because you won't get stung with buying a computer like this, which after three months doesn't work anymore. So that's that's the thing I'm just telling telling you, just to be careful. And if you want a decent and um, built computer, please contact me um, on the details on my Facebook page or YouTube channel or website, because then we could build your machine to your specification using the latest components. Even one of our refurbished machines would be better than this. Because we do sell refurbished um, Intel i5 4th gens and 6th gens. Well, actually still better than this computer. Because they're ex-business machines and they still come with a year's warranty. So, yeah, please talk to me before buying online. Right. I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to speaking to you very soon on our next video when we can talk more about um, equipment and also the return of the IT Academy which is coming back very soon, our offices in Maidstone. So I'll speak to you soon.